Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guide. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Security Lock feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens these days around the buying and selling of used mobile devices. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab S3, and this is a device that does have the Google Lock enabled, because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the Google account that was previously on the device. So that is basically what the Google Lock consists of. It means that only the original account will allow you to get back into the device after it's been factory reset without first removing that account from it. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after resetting the tablet, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled. So the seller either claimed, you know, that it was good to go and... Um, and you know had no locks on it or they or they gave them some pretend login information to be able to get in and then after the purchase was completed the buyer discovered that wasn't true the seller had lied the seller then disappeared and unfortunately it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days with the buying and selling of used mobile devices but we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this lock from this model device without having to have the previous Google login information. It's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this procedure is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer directly through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So as you could clearly see the device was on the Google reset screen and then just as visual proof so that you can all see that we can indeed do it, I went ahead and ran our unlock program that does the removal for us while it was plugged in via the cable. And so now that that's done, now that the device has restarted, we should indeed be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through step by step here. We need to agree to the terms and conditions and then keep going. And we're just showing you all these steps so that you can see that we're not actually signing in with our own Google account or any other trickery like that. And we don't actually need Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to turn that off and skip and keep going. And now this right here is the part where it would normally have given us the Google lock screen. So now it's just advancing to tell us about some Google services that have to be agreed to. So that is a good indication that the lock has been successfully removed. We don't need a screen lock, so we're going to skip that step. And we don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that too. And then I think we should probably be all set after this. Yep, sure enough, we've got the home screen here loaded up. It looks like we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features on the device, and it's just like a brand new tablet that never had the lock on there. Since I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with here. So again, we have a Galaxy Tab S3, and Samsung made several different variants of them, but this one specifically that we're working with here has the model number of the T820. That's the specific model that this procedure is for. So if you have one of these tablets and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. 
Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.